What is it? It's not even a product. I don't even know what's going on. Mike Butch here, TechCrunch, Disrupt, Hardware Alley. And you know what's going on? Is this is a lovely idea. Don't you think? I mean, I think I might take this home, you know. Um, now, we're in Hardware Alley. We're going to run through some of the companies here. Now, this is a very interesting company. It's called Cinemood. Cinemood, oops, I, 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 it's supposed to be that. Cinemood is projecting a, uh, a this, this is the device here. Cinemood is a hardware device for projecting um, cinema. Now, we have Misha over here who's going to uh, explain it. Now, why would you create this when I could literally switch on a Netflix or whatever, Apple TV? Why would I create a hardware device to project these kinds of videos? Okay. It's all about family entertainment and education. So we, we believe that people go too far to virtual reality and uh, AR. We want them to come back. It's all about family back together. So this hardware... So it's, um, it's more of a, co a, a social experience. Yeah, it's all about uh, anti-social isolation. It's all about control the content. You know, not, no sex in five years. What's this, what's this actually linked to? Uh, it links to the mobile app and also it links to Wi-Fi. You can up, uh, upload new content through Wi-Fi and it, it has integration with kids streaming services. Do I, have, uh, do I have to take the content off my laptop or put it onto this? What do I have to do? You can connect an external USB drive and uh, watch any content you like. But it's, it's super cool. I mean, the, I mean how, how, big a, how big can I get this uh, onto, a, onto a screen? Yeah, it's about 100 inch uh, image size, so it's quite big. Uh, it depends on the, how dark is in the room. And, uh, and you've, you've raised funding for the uh, f funding for the company, haven't you? Oh yes, yes. We've been on Indiegogo for three weeks actually, and we've raised over 100 percent now. So it's uh, 80. What are you up to now? Oh, we're stretching the goal. We're planning to do Netflix, uh, and uh, we're trying to achieve higher goals. Very cool. Well, there you go. I mean, cinema is very innovative. Straight out of Russia, here in San Francisco. Ah, sorry, in New York. Sorry. Okay, and um, we'll see you later. Thank you very much, Cinema. Now, let's go over here, breathe easy. Now, hello, um, so what's your name? Sharon. Yeah. Darling, let's, let's hear more about what you're doing. Now, this is, this is uh, called, uh, uh, what, e Adam? Adam. Adam. Yeah. And it's a flexible patch type wearable that you stick on anywhere in your upper torso, so it's adhesive. And what it does is it monitors and tracks your asthma symptoms and then is able to tell you when you are deviating from those so you can get a notification right. that you're changing so you can take preventive action like, such as what uh, so most asthmatics have two types of medications that they do and will have recommendations from the from their doctors so then you're able because you have that that notification you're able to say what you're able to do what you should do couldn't this be a, a watch app or something no, because what we what we do is pick up symptoms from your torso and your chest that are important for the, uh, the asthmatic. You wouldn't get that with something on your arm, so it's important that it be on your torso. And and how are you funded? Are you raised funding or are you on Kickstarter or something? So we are funded privately right now. We're in the middle of our Series A round, and so looking for to close that round out. And then we'll be on Kickstarter later this year. Very interesting. Very, I mean, brilliant if, you're, if you have that, as, if you're an asthmatic, etc. Let's go over here, Elemental Pass. Now, who's going to describe this? Uh, I guess I will. Go for it. So uh, Cognitive Toys are a lot like a kid-friendly version of Siri. A uh, bunch of games, stories, uh, facts, and it's built around each child. So each kid actually gets a different engagement based on how they use the toy. And, uh, and it is particularly hardware. So uh, what does the kid do to interact with this? Let me grab it. So it's a little loud in here. Uh, but you turn it on. Yeah. It connects to Wi-Fi. Yeah. It's going to make a noise. I don't know if you can hear anything. And what, what are we doing? What is your name? <laughs> well, so I can't it's hear a little anything. bit like Siri. So uh, the idea being that child interacts with the hardware to do what? To uh, uh, ask questions what? Yeah, so uh, it's a lot like Siri. Fun and educational. It's not meant to be a one-to-one -one chat bot. It really builds an experience around engaging with a dinosaur. It's a fun, friendly learning companion. So kids ask stories, they play games, they go on scavenger hunts, and the whole time they're enjoying themselves. But we're also giving them specific, unique, personalized educational content. Education, uh, storytelling, etc. Fantastic. 
And what's the name of this? Uh, the kid names it, so it's whatever the kid wants. Whatever to the kid names it. That's so, well. What would you? What else would you do with a green dinosaur? Come on. So uh, now we're going to go over here to Flatev. Flatev. Where's who's going to describe this, sir? I'm from, I'm from Flatev. Come on then. Let's hear more. So we are from Flatev. We are pot to tortilla in 60 seconds. Amazing. So you choose your you choose your pot. Like we have cinnamon, garlic, corn, chili, flour. It's an artisan tortilla maker. It's a tortilla maker, yes. Right. So you choose your dough. Yeah. Then you pop it in a drawer. Yeah. Then you push in the drawer into the machine. Uh -huh. You push the button. You choose your crispiness. And after 60 seconds, you got your freshly baked uh, tortilla or other flatbreads. So we're starting with tortilla. What's the advantage over just using an oven? How do you make a tortilla with an oven? You tell me. So the, the advantage here is, or let's compare it to uh, store-bought tortillas. The advantage we have, it's really fresh. It's freshly made right in front of you. So it's very different from the store-bought tortilla, which are made in a big factory. And when you eat them, they're not fresh anymore. They're like the toast bread, right. and we are like the artisans. Beautifully fresh. fresh. fresh from, from your bakery. Beautifully right? fresh, right. Marvelous. Well, um, I think that that's uh, all we have time for right now from Startup Alley, uh, Mike Butcher from TechCrunch, and see you later from New York.